And so far, so good at the Division One level for those two. FDU is in blue. Pitt is in the home white. Kellen Milliner will throw it up in the air. And this team was built around Hughley, and it's a healthy addition for him. Just his second start for this Pitt team. Looking to rebound after that 11-win season last year. Hughley again, a straightaway triple. He was coming off of a four-point win over VMI. Pull-up J is good for Blygin. He's third on the team in scoring. There's Roberts trying to get on the board and does. In and out for Elliott that time. All in nicely there and put back home by Hinson. Started with this one tonight, which is a scary one for Pitt. Tend to shoot for FDU again out of the corner. Nicely done by Moore. Let's see if Pitt can get Nelly coming going because that's what Jeff Cable and the staff want to see. Him flourish more so than he has the previous games. And Burton drains a triple yet again. Within their offense, and I think that's key when you watch Pitt, they sometimes get out of their offense or the shot selection's a little too quick. See the numbers there. They, they're, they're not great on paper. There's Lamotte. Is it up here? It's Oblige. It. Nice pull up for him. They do a really good job. Cummings trying to get on the board from three and will. This half court set so important for this FDU team. Have a Oblige in the start tonight for him. He's back to back buckets for him, and he's down by three right now to this pit team. Associate head coach Tim O'Toole is credited for getting both Jorge Diaz Graham and Guillermo Diaz Graham, the twins. Three ball there for Burton of Pitt, lengthening their lead at home in our first half. Largest lead for the Panthers here at six. They really do a great job moving the ball. You have to have your head on a swivel. If you're not in a stance, We've mentioned that he's been mired with the lack of consistency in practices and in lineups, but when it comes to game actions in particular, not just on the... You've got to dig out. Jeff Capel's a proven coach at Oklahoma, longtime assistant for Mike Krzyzewski, and when you have that, you've got the right coach. But when you're trying to dig out of such a deep hole, you can't have bad luck. They're continuing to switch everything on the perimeter, one through five. Tweedy nearly walked. Here's Roberts. And held the two points, looking for a four, rejected there by Diaz Graham. Hasn't scored so far, Tim, 0 of 2. Second on this team in scoring, on cue, takes it right to the rack. Well, they, they space the court, and that's what happens when you get caught in switches. And It's doing a good job of guarding the ball, contesting. That's what they need to do, though. You know, we wanted that the whole way, Tim. Roberts, over to Racine. And sent over to Hughley, the tandem starring here for Pitt. A couple of bad shots in a row, possession-wise. Cummings driving baseline. Passed with that time nicely inside by Almanor. In that last possession, I thought Cummings should have made the extra pass to Henson in the corner. Shot clock under three this time yet again. Almanor gets on the board here for FDU. Greer spaces the floor nicely for this pit team. It's FDU down by five. Taking it inside. Nice move again by Almanor. Scored back-to-back -back buckets. That snapped nearly a four-minute drought. 3.15 to go. FDU is down by three in blue. Baseline drive for Cummings with the reverse. Nicely done. We here for Singleton. Ball here, and it's gobbled up here for Pitt. Diaz Graham with the left hand. That was smooth. Conference championships for Coach Anderson's team is looking to apply what he did to D2. All that success over to D1 at FDU. Trying to improve from the Greg Perenda days where last year a team just went 4 and 22. He has that big size advantage over Al Almanor on the box. 11 points, Roberts trying to get going and does successfully. That's only his second made field goal so far. Implementing his system. So they're going to be a well-oiled machine by the time they get to conference play. It's Murray navigating inside. Yes, it's day two. 
eighth Final Four for Doug Sermons the last nine years, working with Ted Valentine, Kellen Milliner, making Georgia. Here's May nicely. Good connection that time. Cummings. That time over to Elliott, a straightaway triple. Yes. Oh, that's good offense. Henson again, a transfer from Iowa State. Did not play all of last year. Started his career at Ole Miss. That's the game film that Jeff Cape had to go off of. Tend to shoot here for Burton. Singleton with only two points. Looking for five. There it is with the tray. It's better positioning that time down low by Almanor. Slow the pace here for Pitt in the half-court set. Yes, Graham pulls up. Yes. You've got to get closer to me. I'll knock it in. 15 bench points for FDU. Diaz Graham having a good stretch here for Pitt. He's trying to string back-to-back -back wins as well. That was tipped nicely. John by Hinson. And it's 2v1. Hinson takes matters into his own hands. Uh, Hinson had that. Just a great presence of mind. They don't have a lot of depth at the guard spot, so keeping Cummings on the floor is very important to run the point. But they're doing a nice job of handling this pressure. Matthias Graham with 11 points and another 2v1 situation with Pitt. Going to push yet again. This has worked well in the corner that time. Elliott for three. It's a nicely done. Burton behind the back. Hughley, who had the rebound and finishes the play. IMG Academy has produced Tim O'Toole, the associated coach, credited for finding those guys and bringing them to pits. A decade ago, didn't really recognize that guy with Tim O'Toole. I though. wrote it down. I just wrote it down. Tim O'Toole's been teaching me stuff my whole life and uh, going back to when he played at Fairfield. But We would certainly run through a wall for Coach O'Toole. There's more as the shot clock was dwindling. Nice play by Blige. You had a strong start to the game for FDU. Well, Pitt's got to feel good about the way they played tonight. Not only X and O wise and intelligence wise, but sharing the basketball, cleaning the game plan. 14 and 7 so far. Manuel puts it on the deck and scores that time over Hughley. Nicely done. To overtime, you know you can play. So. You've got to be able to convince your team that they can do that. And so far, so good for Pitt. Although, FDU will keep coming at you. And welcome to the game with Braden Reynolds. He talked about this for a while. He's a freshman hailing from this area. Played at Western Preserve High School. Too much Hughley inside for Coach Capel's unit. Here's the Pittsburgh native. Reynolds, 24 in blue, coming in off the bench. Chargers Valley. Trying to score here with the reverse. Nicely done. Welcome home, Braden Reynolds. Found an angle with the gap, but Pitt continues just to easily break this press. Elliott sees a seam and finishes at the cup. The FTU is unable to get any good traps to make Pitt feel uncomfortable, but they keep coming back in transition with Roberts. It's 78% shooting, Tim, in this half. Well, layups and open threes right now, and confidence building. Richard doing a nice job as Filipowski and Roach. And Mitchell played really well for the Blue Devils. There's Cummings. Strip that time. Here comes FDU. Singleton. I think Sabandi. Good work by Blyger to keep it on this end, and will finish with the left hand. There's the pressure. FDU's not going to let up. And we'll see, like you were wanting more depth out of the guard position. Will that come to fruition to improve for the sixth mark with league wins last year? Good move inside for Blige, and yet again coming off the screen. And Mary Mack is picked to win the NEC. They're actually first in the league when they came over into the NEC, led by Joe Gallo. You see the road trip to follow. Keep your team together, and you can see that Tobin Anderson's team has all of those qualities. Drive that time. Nice work by Burton. There's Sabandi on the left side working with Burton. Burton with a pull up from 15. And gets the fortuitous bounce. You just can't do it. You can't play a soft schedule early in the season anymore. You, it'll really hurt you when you get into conference play, and it'll hurt you in March when you're trying to get a bid. Basket there from Blassing Game. I call him two time affectionately. Yes, that is his name twice. So make substitution aided. Fish coming in and Federico Federico. A string a two-game win streak here. 
in this 22-point victory over FDU at home and an impressive second half for Coach Capel's unit.